What does it mean to have the right to vote? It means to have the right to have a say in who becomes your leader, to have a say in what direction the country can go. For me, I think I can even remember the clothes I was wearing because I, you know, it was such an important moment. Voting for me was finding a voice. I left from home straight to a polling station closest to my house. And when I saw the crowds of people, and that was at 7 o'clock in the morning, I was really impressed with how people wanted to participate in that electoral process. It was first time ever that Afghans would uh, come out and vote. Elections are both a right and a privilege because they allow people to solve political differences in a peaceful manner. It doesn't matter where you live, elections give you a way out of conflict and violence. People express their voice, they say we actually endorse the people who are governing us or we want somebody else. It gives the opportunity to choose um, the people and the policies that you think are going to make life better for you and your children. Election day is like a wedding day. You know, it's a big party, everybody's very happy. Uh, the difficulty is the marriage. And so elections cannot be seen as one event, but as part of a bigger picture, which is the democratic governance in our country. And that should be our ultimate goal. There are some countries who are coming out of very deep divisions, civil war, and sometimes they need the international community and the United Nations to, to help them organize first post-conflict elections. They don't always have the capacity, the institutions, the people in place to do so. So I think the international community can play a very important role in actually helping deliver those elections, such as in DRC in 2006. It's not so much that the international community organizes elections, but really accompanies national processes. Very often the political actors in this process is looking for international recognition and an endorsement or validation of the results. The UN has an important role, but at the end of the day, citizens control their own destiny and the destinies of their countries. And we as outsiders um, have to respect that and always be mindful that this process belongs to them and, and our role should be transitory. The people must feel that they're doing things for themselves, not that somebody is doing it for them. Without a sense of ownership, it becomes just a facade. Protecting the right to vote and making sure that voting is not only a luxury, but a basic right that everybody can exercise is a fundamental part of our work. We do not expect things to change overnight, but we use every single opportunity to move forward that agenda.